Lakini tusonge mbele ni kwamba mshukiwa mkuu katika kisa kinachomhusu naibu gavana wa Kirinyaga Peter Ndambiri amekamatwa. Ndambiri alinaswa kwenye video akivamiwa na wanaume wawili katika chumba kimoja akiwa na mwanamke. Mshukiwa huyo ambaye anasemekana kuwa ni afisa wa magereza Dennis Mugambi alikamatwa leo na maafisa wapelelezi huko Mwea. Gatete Njoroge ana maelezo zaidi. It was a real trauma. I organizing. When people strip you and take videos under their weapons and there is very little you can do for yourself. It is important to know that there is a clique of gangsters that is targeting politicians and those people whom they think have money in this nation. Ni matamshi ya naibu wa gavana Peter Ndambiri hapo jana alipofika katika kituo cha polisi cha Thika kufuatilia taarifa kuhusu kisa kilichotokea tarehe 28 mwezi Machi katika mji wa Thika. Ndambiri ambaye video yake imezoagumzo katika mitandao ya kijamii baada ya kuvamiwa na wanaume wawili akiwa na mwanamke kwenye chumba akisema ilikuwa kisa cha ulagai na kundi la watu fulani. Maafisa upelelezi kutoka kituo cha polisi cha Thika mapema leo akimkamata mwanamme mmoja alionekana kwenye kanda hiyo akimdhulumu Ndambiri kwa madai ya kumpata na mkewe Dennis Mugambi afisa wa magereza kaunti ya Nyandarwa alikamatwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Wanguru eneo bunge la Mwea ambapo alikuwa amefika kupiga ripoti baada ya gari lake kuhusika katika ajali ya barabarani Mugambi aliyekamatwa akiwa amevalia mavazi sawia na aliyovalia wakati wa kisa hicho akisafirishwa moja kwa moja hadi katika kituo cha polisi cha Thika. Swala hilo likiendelea kuzua gumzo miongoni mwa viongozi akiwemo naibu rais William Ruto. The relationship between governors and their deputies is worked out so that the devil doesn't have a space to use any idle mind to drive any evil agenda it is unlawful to watch films that have not been sanctioned by the Kenya Films Classification Board we see people in hotels and uh, the social media report some of these things actually we we feel ashamed because of our leaders and whether it is extortion or any other Why put yourself in awkward situations like that and fight your own life your political life after that Kwa sasa maafisa upelelezi wanaendelea kuwasaka wahusika wengine Gatete Njoroge Citizen ni pashe